Hi, my name is Ronnie Haddad, and today I'll be deploying OpenShift on Google Cloud Platform. I have a Mac OS, so first I go to cloud.redhat.com slash OpenShift slash install. I select Google Cloud and Installer Provision Infrastructure. Then I download the installer, the pull secret, as well as the command line tools. So once I download that, um, or these, I place them in my local directory. So I have two uh, archives and uh, then I uh, extract these archives into my local directory. This way I'd have the installer as well as the um, command line tools. Then I, uh, if you don't have a domain, you should get a domain. And uh, I chose the openshiftcorpredhead.com domain. And I made sure the DNS is configured with the same name servers that uh, I have in my uh, Google Cloud platform. So if uh, you go to Google Cloud DNS uh, in Google Cloud, you create a zone name, call it OCP, and I have my name servers there. So I just need to make sure I have the same name servers in Google Cloud Platform as in my Google domains. So that's why I had to update my Google domains uh, name servers. And next, I uh, have to create a SSH key and run the SSH agent, and then add my key to the SSH agent. Again, all these steps are uh, listed in the description of the video. So if you missed anything, you can just follow the steps and uh, the links that I have in the description. So after I add my SSH key, it is now time to run the installer. So uh, that's done using uh, OpenShift install, uh, create cluster command. And that will run the OpenShift installation script. So uh, you may face an issue if you're on a Mac, uh, you may not have uh, the proper uh, verification. So what you do is you cancel and then you go to uh, security and privacy and then you allow uh, that script to run. So the next time you run it again and you click open and then it will run. So now uh, you select the key that you just created and then I select uh, GCP from platform and then the zone where I would like or the region where I would like to run um, I'll deploy my OpenShift cluster and uh, then I pick a cluster name and then I have to paste the pull secret that I downloaded earlier into my local directory. And then this script will run for about uh, 10 to 30 minutes depending on uh, a variety of factors. So this will create all the infrastructure that is needed to run OpenShift and, and then the script finally ran and I got a console URL with a username and password. So uh, I use that to try and connect to my console and I would use the credentials that were given to me in, um, at the end of the script run that you see over here. So I use these credentials to log in, and this is my OpenShift uh, console. So I could check their workloads, uh, nodes, pods, running, etc. And then another verification I could do is using the CLI. So I export my configuration. By running export kubeconfig equal um, auth kubeconfig, or dot slash auth kubeconfig, which is my local uh, directory. And then I add this to my path. And then when I try to run uh, OC Who Am I, for example, I hit the same error on the Mac, so I just have to allow it again. And uh, once I do that, I am able to uh, run the command. And I hit open. And I can run other uh, commands to verify that my cluster was properly deployed again. Um, thank you very much, and if you have any questions, just uh, please ask them in the comments.